What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, this is very, very important information that you're going to need right now to go ahead and get done because this is the final day that you can do it on July 22nd, 2022. Um, what's going to happen is this if you want the all Madden edition uh, for Madden 23 Ultimate Team, you're going to have to go ahead and, um, you know, get this done. Now, this is pretty weird. This right here, because this actually went off my screen, and I actually went and did it, um, you know, directly inside the store. But it, I don't know what EA Sports is doing with the situation, but I backed out. What, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try to back out if you don't see it right away, and then go back later. Um, you know, well, not later, but right away and do it again and keep backing out if you want to get it from this screen. If you don't see this, right? If you don't see this situation right here, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to, if you're on PS5, you're going to go to, your, your, you know, the PlayStation Store. It's probably going to be in the Xbox Store as well. It's going to be the same exact situation. Um, I don't know if they probably figured that they messed up by taking it down too early or whatever, but it expires at midnight tonight. So when you go to like the trending games, you'll see it. So right here, you'll see that I have, when I go to it, I have the actual time frame date there and I've already pre-ordered it. So I'm pretty much all done with it. Just make sure that you get it done. If you're not aware of what comes with, you know, what, you know, what comes with it, I think they had it. Oh, can we view the product in here so that way we can see what's going on with it? All right, there goes right there. All right, so the three day early access, we're going to get that anyway with EA Play, so we didn't need that. But you get the free 4,600 Madden points. And when I say free, usually you didn't get points with the game. So you would spend the same amount and not get points. So the game is what it is. Um, you don't have to feel as if like, you, you know, like you're getting a deal or something like that. It, it, literally, there's no deal. You know what I'm saying? Like you, if you get the edition that comes with more content for Mutt, we always pay for that. So they're just pretty much giving us back 4,600 points, which is similar to around, you know, 45, $46, whatever. However you want to equate it. That's what you're getting back. That is more important than everything else that's there, including the choice of the two elite players. That's more important. So if you guys don't get it done tonight, what's going to happen is you can still play the game three days early with uh, EA Play. That's not a big deal, but you're not going to get those points. And I'm going to go over again why those points are very, very important. Because again, most of you guys that get the standard edition that you, you pay like the $50 or whatever, like the basic edition, you're going to end up spending at some point anyway. I don't care if you tell me that you know money spent. Oh, bro, I'm not doing this. You're going to do it. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get beat on from someone in a head-to-head -head game so badly, your wallet is just going to blast open. Or, or you're going to go get your mom's wallet. Like something's going to happen where you're going to be spending money on the game. So my whole emphasis on this and why I waited so long was to give everybody time to kind of see what's coming with the game. And the Madden development team, RG, had that stream. We see what's out there. We see what our options are. It makes sense to get the points. The players, we know what they are now. That's cool. You know, maybe, you know, go ahead, get a Cooper Cup with a Slot Apprentice, whatever, early at launch, whatever. It's all cool. But this is something that is extremely important. Those Madden points. All right. So, look, with that being said now, you guys see what's going on with that situation. Um, we could jump back into this. So, it's on your actual home screen. I could have saved an additional 10% and got an all Madden team elite player. But for me... It doesn't really make any sense to do that right now, like to go ahead and cancel the order and then, you know, whatever. It's fine. I spent under $100 for it. It was $89.99 and then you paid the tax and it is what it is. So I'm not going to go crazy and try to get that, even though you can do that if you currently wanted a 99 overall right now. But it's good news that it's back on the screen because it wasn't there earlier today. And, you know, pretty much all I did was back out go to the store and come back in and it was right there so if you don't see or close the game out and then come back and it'll be right there so let's go ahead and do a you know a quick recap of the 4600 points and what i think ea sports is doing i don't think that they're lowering the price of anything some of you guys were thinking that they're giving you the 4600 to you know because they're lowering prices of packs that would make no sense you know what i'm saying even though like inflation doesn't exist in in the madden world they're going to make it exist you're going to pay what they want you to pay so the 4600 it just you know mathematically adds up to three of the 20 dollar packs so this is what we figured when i when i did the video before i explained to you guys there's several ways you could go about doing this whichever way you know whichever way it ends up working out for you it's going to be you're either going to get really really lucky or it's going to be a really bad situation there's no in between all right 
I don't know if they're bringing the elite packs back, but I did point that out that, you know, they may increase the price of that because those are usually really, really glitchy at launch. Also, I want to point out, right, they usually wait like a week before they give you the first promo. I don't know what the promo is going to be at launch, but they may offer you a certain bundle for that 4,600 points because that's probably why they gave it to you. And it might like guarantee you a certain amount of cards. But if that's not the case, we are going to find the best possible packs to utilize for it. And that's what the key is going to be. Whatever other packs they have, like they usually have, you know, Gridiron has been there, Pro Fantasy, stuff like that. We're going to make that math work. And the reason that it's important to kind of like pull early is because one of two things are going to happen. You're going to get ridiculously lucky or you're going to get it from the back. You may not be that person that gets it from the back like the way I do from EA Sports. Even though last year we got kind of lucky and pulled the, the, you know, the Max Aaron Donald and another card like right at launch. When you start and you open the game up, EA Sports is trying to draw you in. So most of us are going to get some really, really good pulls to start. And then it's going to get real, real nasty afterwards. The reason that I point that out is it all depends on where you're going with it. I wouldn't waste time, like this wouldn't be there at the launch, the Elite Player, that came later, so that wouldn't be there. The Gridiron has that bundle where you could get three of them, and that's 15 packs, right? You have the Elite, play, you know, the Elite Player packs that are probably going to be around, and then with the feature, you always see that Elite Fantasy pack, all right? So what, what exactly does that mean? Realistically, what it means is this. You can pretty much use one, you know, a portion of your 4,600 points on an Elite Fantasy Pack if that's available at launch. Because that gives you one of the coin cards, and those cards are very, very clutch at launch. Like, you guys have no idea how clutch they are. I've literally seen dudes get the max coin card and cash it in, and then, you know, pretty much go get one of the top players even before the actual launch date of the game. Remember, most of us are going to have the game three days before the official launch. That's why this is very important with the All Madden Edition. Because you'll already have it and then you'll be able to set the precedent for what the prices are going to be later. Because we're going to play around with it. Nobody, everybody doesn't always get the game, right? So a lot of the prices that's going to be available won't reflect what it'll be after August 16th or the 19th or whenever, you know, the official game drops. So you're going to want to hold on to some of the really high overall picks you get during the pre-launch stages. So there's a lot that goes on in the game that's going to get us to the millionaire status super duper quickly. But at this point right now, I just wanted to make sure that we got the 4,600 points. Um, you know, as far as saving the additional 10%, that would have been cool. I'm fine with it. I'll just spend what I spend. I'm not going to cancel it and redo it and all that stuff. I'm good. But if you guys don't see it on your screen, you're going to want to back out and do it because I, I don't want you guys to overspend. If you have the EA Play, all right, and you also have, you know, it on your home screen, that's an additional 10%. All right. Other than that. I want to let you guys know. I'm going to be giving you guys more information as it comes out. Oh, I do want to tell you this, though. Josh Allen having 99 throw power uh, with the newly released quarterback rankings. We already knew that that was going to happen a month ago. It's looking like he may be our quarterback uh, for our team to start the year, like we already predicted, based on the numbers that he's going to have. But there's other things that may come up that may change that, including legends that may be released at launch. So let's take our time with that. But that just is a newly... Uh, form, uh, you know, formed information where they just released the quarterback ratings, uh, you know, during the video. So look, that's something that we're going to go ahead and take a look at. But more than likely, we've covered our one possible corner. We've covered our two defensive linemen. And now our quarterback may be, um, we may have to end up going that route. Because I, I think Josh Allen may be the best possible uh, quarterback for the type of play we're going to have. All right, guys, go ahead and get it done. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments. Look out for the, um, you know, being a member. A lot of you guys are asking, yo, gee, how do I become a member? It's right there in the description box. Click the link. There's different choices that you can choose from. Not all one price, so everybody can get a chance to get in. Becoming a member now is going to save you a little bit later on once the game launches because there's going to be a lot of things you're going to want to know about, and you'll just get those questions answered. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, one love, y'all.